You're not supposed to be spoon-fed Christianity. You're, you're not supposed to uh, sit here and just come into a place uh, that we call church and, and, and just be, this is, you just have to have faith and this is what we believe. Now go out and make disciples. No, that's absolutely incorrect. The, the true ambition hasn't been to question, to seek, to find. Instead, it's been to create attenders, create a group. We find our success in how many people attend, how many people consider themselves part of this church or part of some type of Christian group. And then what happens is those groups then become to be in competition with one another. The, the, even the churches themselves compete amongst each other because we have found our success rate in how many people we have on our membership. And I wonder how embarrassed we're going to be when we stand before the judgment seat of God. I want to testify about God. I want us to look at this Christian mindset. How many of us think that to be a good Christian, we have to start doing right things? Think watching the right things, listening to the right things, acting in the right ways. Basically, Christianity is to clean up our dirty lifestyles, wash them clean using a popular cleaning product called Jesus Christ, which is found and sold in a church near you. That's what Christianity has become. It's a product that we sell to you that you can find in a church near you. Now what the church does is now we have to build the church so that you'll come into that store and buy from them. Okay, I'll put you out Because he'll always be there. It's a product that I can pick up in a church near me. I'll pick it up anywhere, anytime. Because they're constantly trying to sell it to me. You absolutely hate the selling of the gospel. But yet you're the biggest consumer of the product of Jesus Christ instead of the atonement of Jesus Christ. See, because Christianity has been sold as a product that will reduce your debt, TBN. It will cleanse your lifestyles, the sinner's prayer. It will open doors of opportunities for you, Joel Osteen. It will even become a product that will find you a perfect mate that you can spend the rest of your life with, Christian Mingle. about what you thought you were going to be and do and are you ready to just sit there and say God I was built for your glory that's what, I say, that's what it means to be a Christian obeying God gives you the greatest pleasure than anything else and you standing there feeling God's glory your greatest satisfaction comes by obeying the greatest glory